hello and welcome friends welcome to my channel coding with anand today i am back with my new project that is based on stock market so this is my new project that is developed in spring boot and uh, database is mysql and uh, the technology stack is uh, basically spring boot with jpa so this is the code source and this is uh, the folder structure of the project so there is an application the controllers the models the repos and uh, the services and all the settings uh, has been provided in this uh, application dot properties file that contains all the uh, database and other settings so this application we basically develop okay this is not used <coughs> okay fine so this is the home page of the screen this is completely a uh, stock exchange type of a uh, uh, project so this is the home page in the slider is there this is the second stocks page that basically list out all the uh, companies that has issued their share in the market that you can purchase you can click on details in order to see the companies uh, uh, f uh, flow that uh, the price of their shares are going high or down so this kind of thing is uh, available in this case and uh, you can log in if you have already registered and if you don't register then you can register as a customer who can buy and sell the shares and uh, the company uh, that will basically register in the market so let's uh, top stock market companies in India in India let's see in India fine so let me see basically I have added uh, <coughs> TCS HDFC ICSC and uh, I will use some other names like uh, I will use Wipro there okay so let's register Wipro private limited Wipro limited okay so one more thing we can think basically we need to add a Wipro logo we need to add a logo actually so now this is fine let's save it Wipro logo on the desktop so let's select the items from the desktop and uh, this is the phone number and uh, this is noida this is uh, stock price of uh, this company let's see uh, right now the stock price of pro is 637 and uh, this is positive huh? so we will also make it positive so let's create with 400 okay so email id is uh, wipro info at the rate wipro dot com and the password we can provide and just register it okay so the company registered successfully and you can see in the stock section the wipro is there but if i go to this one this is basically the first time so uh, let's log in with the company info at the rate wipro dot com and the password and we are in Wipro limited and uh, there are certain things uh, we can update the prices and uh, you can see uh, by default it is taking 30th of November so what I am going to do in the company this is the database tied I am using MySQL so uh, this is Wipro and let's add it and what I am basically going to do no 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 this is not what we need to add it we need to add the customer stock uh, stock price and the stock price for our company is 400 let's add it it and we will change this date to first or you can say 10 and say go now what it will do uh, it will update it to 10 now we will add the consecutive days uh, let's suppose on 12th the price is 420 let's add it now on uh, after 12 let's say on 
15 the price goes to 450 and uh, on uh, 17 the price basically down for 35 fine and uh, for uh, 17 we have done for 19 we are basically going to add uh, and 460 add it and uh, for uh, now 19 after 19 there is 22 the price goes to 475 okay so let's add 35 and 500 is there so we are basically increasing and on monday the price is 575 575 let's see and once we go to this one we can check the graph of this so this is increasing then decreasing the chart is fully dynamic whatever you do uh, you can see and we have updated and we can see this is the list of stockholders that who has purchased our stock our uh, in the, from the market this is the help desk if uh, any customer basically wants to communicate with the company then uh, he or she will be able to communicate with us so let's log out and register a customer let's suppose i'm going to uh, <coughs> add my own account and sing the mobile number anand singh at the gmail.com and the password is new delhi Aadhaar number, you can provide anything and just add it. So we have registered successfully. And uh, Anand Singh at the rate gmail.com password. Let's log in. Okay, what happens? Anand Singh at the rate gmail.com and the password. Fine. So we are able to log in. So in the stocks, now if I click on this Wipro Limited, we can purchase any number of shares. So let's suppose I purchase 50 shares, 575 each, let's buy. Now we have purchased. We can purchase any number of uh, uh, companies share. Let's suppose I purchase 100 shares of this company as well. And uh, I am going to purchase the uh, ICICI bank shares, the uh, 50 shares of this company as well so i have this option so if i want to sell this uh, these shares then we can do this as well let's suppose uh, what i do i log in with the tcs tcs at the rate gmail.com gmail.com dot com password and let's say uh, TCS share is 1200 and uh, uh, today the price increase up to 1500 okay now I add price and uh, if I log out and uh, I can see for TCS the price is going up and uh, for customer login let's see Anand Singh at the gmail.com and the password let's see my stocks and i can see that the current price of uh, tcs is 500 1500 and the buy price is 1200 so i have the profit i can earn the profit if i sell this project okay so what i basically do so i am going to sell this project uh, uh, shares let's suppose i am going to sell uh, 50 shares in the market and uh, now we have sold it out so this is uh, the full functionality and uh, uh, let's see some other things uh, my stocks this is help and uh, I will log in with Wipro and uh, I am uh, I want to buy your debentures okay let's log okay so this is what I have done and uh, let's log out login with wipro info at the rate wipro.com and the password and uh, let's see the stockholders we have the stockholders who has purchased our uh, shares and uh, there is a help desk who has uh, sent me some 
uh, query or inquiry you can say and uh, we can process this inquiry and let's suppose we do not provide debentures so they are only works with shares or stock or whatever you can say so the solution has been given to this particular the status is done now let's log out and uh, if I log in with this and check the help desk then I will find out that uh, my query has been resolved and uh, it is now available so this is the whole functionality of this project so this is uh, somewhat the basic functionalities I basically added from my uh, personal end uh, I have a very little idea of stock exchange so that's why I am uh, trying to add uh, as much as uh, functionality in this project so that's why I have created in this one so this is the database design if you can see the company customer and customer stock and like that and uh, the whole functionality I have explained this is in Spring Boot uh, Spring Boot with JPA all the functionality part is there uh, the models uh, the structure is uh, properly created so this is what I have done in this project if you like this project just uh, uh, hit the like button and if you are new to my channel just subscribe uh, I basically provide a project every week almost every week I basically try to upload new project in order to stay update and get new innovative ideas related to developing of project just subscribe my channel coding with Anand I will uh, come back soon with my new project till then wait and watch thank you very much Thank you.